Hello friends, welcome back to e-commerce project in Laravel. Last video I will show you how to install a fresh Laravel and with I will install some plugin about the Laravel. Let's go to composer.json. So what we did. So first of all we installed last video Laravel framework and we have installed some plugin like image, excel, strap php and dom pdf. We have added for plugin to Laravel. So in this video I will explain how to remove public folder suppose I will open the projects so look like so so we don't want to open like this we just need to open our website we need to remove the public folder suppose I click on the public folder so working very well no issue so just go to your projects ecommerce.com projects inside you need to go public folder and just cut means control X and put outside okay now you can go back again to websites and remove the refresh the page so you see not working just you can remove the public folder and refresh the page to generate two errors okay so let's go to back again code and just need to go index.php and just remove dot dot slash dot dot slash because this is the file he not found you can see it like a vendor is a like here there and also bootstrap here there so just remove this dot dot slash go back again and refresh the page so it's working very well so we have removed the public folder just simple step just go to public inside you need to cut all the file and put outside after need to go index.php and remove the dot dot slash so you found the folder okay so this is the we have removed the public folder now we need to protect our dot env file suppose dot env so you can see it here anybody can access this env file so first we need to create our database ecommerce.com just go to ecommerce.com create a new database okay i just create now new database ecommerce.com so database created successfully okay now we need to go our env file and we need to connect our database so password i have not anything so just like blank suppose you have a password in your database so you can add your password my username is root my database name is like ecommerce.com and my host is a local host okay so i have connected database i just go back again refresh the page so you can see it here let's control f5 so you can see it like a ecommerce.com and local host so he anybody can access this file so nobody can access this file so what we need to do just open your HTTPS file and you, you need to add some code here so I just find out my other projects same like this code so I copy and paste and I can show you what code do you want to write we have already made set school management system inside this code just open these files now we are not made so I can show you next video about the school management system inside how to do this one okay so just wait few seconds I just found this codes I just open new file for my other projects so okay I did here this code just copy this code and put here so I just files dot enemy order allow Danny Danny from all okay so just now I will save these files and I close these other files and I close also database files and I close dot index files and I don't want to need this file also okay now i back to again and i refresh the page so you can see is impossible access because we have add this code suppose i can remove and i can save and i can go back and refresh the page so he can access the file so this code is used for nobody can add your eni file this reason we need to add inside hds inside this code so we can then it means that we don't want to give the permission anybody can access these files okay so now you can see it like a dot env file nobody can access okay. we have removed the public folder and also we have protect our dot env file now we need to add here php artisan migrate so we can create our user table for tables suppose you can go inside uh, i just remove this folder we don't need these folders let's go to delete delete where is the delete delete folder you just need to go sets okay removed now you can go like uh, database inside you can see is migration we have some table already there so just we need to open your terminal 
go to your code insights ecommerce.com and open your terminal and you need to just write php artisan migrate because we have already made first database connection this reason is possible okay because here is done just you can type here php artisan migrate and press enter so taking few seconds and you can see it here migrations just go back i think taking some time you can see is the creating migration table running migration you can see it now and it is done so if i go to ecommerce.com so you can see it like a few tables created password access token password reset token migration and fails of and users table so here we are done about migration whatever there inside a migration inside so this table automatically created also we have made a database connection so in this video i have explained how to remove public folder how to protect what any file and how to make a migration because we have already some table there so we have migration next video we can start to implement our themes i already show you the themes last video means last few videos so like a uh, mola e-commerce and admin lt so next video we can start to implement our themes and we can continue to e-commerce project so do you want to like this video so please like do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel thank you for watching